write a C++ program to overload the operator plus for adding the timing of two clock object using member function. So in this program, we have to overload the binary operator plus because we need to add two different clock objects and it needs to be done by using a member function. So first we are creating a class which is named as clock, which is used to represent the timing. Now timing need to be represented in the form of hour, minute and second. So we have three private data members, which is of integer type named as HR, MI, N minute and SEC for second. In the public section, first we have written a default constructor, not written any code inside default constructor. Then we have written parameterized to constructor to initialize hour, minute and second data member value. So since the parameter name and the data member name both are same, in order to access the data member, we have to use this pointer. So we write this pointer hr equal hr. Similarly, it assigned the value of min into the data member min and sec parameter value will get initialized into sec of data member. So the parameter value will get initialized into the data member. Next, we are writing a method. The name of the method is display which is used to display the value of hour, minute, and second. By using a cout statement, we display the value of hour, minute, and second inside the display method. Now we are defining the operator overloading method. So this operator overloading is performed by using member function. So since we are performing by using member functions, if binary operator we have to overload, only one object need to be passed as parameter, which will be the second operand. The first operand will be considered as the default object by which the operator overloading function will get called. So in this plus operator, we need a return data type as a clock object because after adding two timing, we get a new timing object that need to be returned. And the operator name is operator plus is a function name and it takes one parameter, which will be the second time object. Now, in order to calculate, first we add the second value of the current object SEC plus C dot SEC. And in the variable B, we add minute of default object and the parameter. And the minute need to be added depending upon the second sum, because if the second goes above 60, we have to find uh, the minute belonging to that second. If it is above 60, so it will be considered, or 60, it should be abbreviated into minute. So in order to find, we divide by 60 and take the quotient. And uh, the second will be calculated from the value A and B, we calculate the second and minute. So the second will be calculated as A mod 60 and minute will be calculated as the total minute which we calculated, which is B mod 60. Now the hour will be calculated by adding the hour of the default object and the parameter. So HR plus C dot HR. And from B, we have to find out how much is the hour belonging to that. So we divide B divided by 60. B is a total minute. So total minute 
divided by 60. So we get the quotient. So that will get added into hard. So if minute goes more than 60 or 60, it will be considered as one hard. So we have done the adding of two clock objects by using a member function. So the function name is operator plus. So it is overloading of binary operator. So we are using one parameter, which will be the second time object. The first time object will be taken as a default object. By using the calculated second minute and hour, we create a clock object, which is named as TMP and the TMP will be returned, which will be the sum of two clock object and the sum will get returned from the function. In the main program, we are creating clock object, two, two clock object, C1 and C2 is created by mentioning the hour, minute, and second. And third object is named as C3. We want the sum of C1 and C2 timing into C3. So we write C3 equals C1 plus C2. So while we write C3 equals C1 plus C2, it will call the operator overloading function, which is named as operator plus. C2 will pass into the parameter C and C1 will pass into the function as a default object. So while we are accessing SCC, MIN and HR, it will be of C1. And while we are accessing SCC, MIN and and HR by using the parameter C, it will be of C2. Each of the clock time we display by using display method. First we call C1.display, next C2.display and C3.display. C3 will be the sum of C1 and C2. Execute and see the program output. 